Welcome back to the CD Genomics's Next Generation Sequencing Video Series. The topic here is the development and workflow of RNA-Seq. We will give you a detailed introduction to RNA-Seq, including what RNA-Seq is, the development of it, and the workflow of it. RNA-Seq, the abbreviation of RNA sequencing, utilizes Next Generation Sequencing NGS to reveal the presence and quantity of RNA in a biological sample at a specific developmental stage or physiological condition. RNA-Seq is a powerful tool to analyze the continuously changing cellular transcriptome, which is essential for interpreting the functional elements of the genome, revealing the molecular constituents of cells and tissues, and understanding development and disease. Sanger sequencing technology was first used for transcriptomics, which enabled methods such as SAGE, serial analysis of gene expression. SAGE was one of the first attempts to quantify gene expression on a global basis. Almost simultaneously, microarrays utilizing complementary probe hybridization, quickly emerged and came to dominate the field of transcriptomics profiling for the next decade. The advent of next-generation technologies has enabled the sequencing approach to surpass microarray approach. In 2006, the first RNA-Seq paper was published by utilizing Roche 454 technology. The era of RNA-Seq dominance began in 2008, with the maturity of Illumina technology. Despite the popularization of the NGS technologies, the application of third-generation sequencing in RNA-Seq is on its way. Pacific Biosciences Smart Long Read Sequencing Technology can easily cover complete transcript, without the need of fragmentation, which is useful to identify new transcripts and new entrants, thereby accurately identifying isoforms, alternative splicing sites, fusion gene expression, and allelic expression. RNA-Seq is often referred to as RNA profiling using the next or third generation sequencing technologies. Compared to traditional microarray and Sanger sequencing, it has multiple advantages in technology specifications, applications, and practical issues. RNA-Seq is a high-throughput RNA profiling technology at single base resolution, with low background noise. It can be used to simultaneously map transcribed regions and gene expression, as well as distinguish different isoforms and allelic expression. Compared to microarray and Sanger sequencing, it requires a lower amount of RNA and costs less. However, RNA-Seq is faced with several challenges, such as short read and PCR biases. Short read used to be one concern. But Illumina sequencing technology has steadily increased read length and throughput since its introduction in 2007. Long paired and strand specific reads are commonly used for higher levels of mappability and de novo assembly of transcriptomes. Furthermore, the third generation sequencing technology, such as Pacific Biosciences Smart, enables full length transcripts sequencing. Another concern is the impact of PCR amplification on the accuracy of gene expression quantitation via RNA-Seq. Helicos and some of the third sequencer use an amplification-free technology. There are also PCR-free methods for Illumina sequencing. The workflow of RNA-Seq by utilizing high-throughput sequencing technology is illustrated in the left figure. Briefly. Long RNAs are first converted into a library of cDNA fragments, through RNA or DNA fragmentation. Sequencing adapters are then attached to each cDNA fragment, and sequence data are generated in a high-throughput manner from both ends. The resulting sequence reads are subsequently aligned with the reference genome or transcriptome, and are classified into three types, exonic reads, junction reads and polia end reads. A base resolution expression profile can be generated by using these three types of sequence reads. Following sample collection, total RNA is usually isolated via organic extraction or silica membranes of spin columns. Total RNA sample is subsequently processed either by direct selection of polyRNA, or by selective removal of ribosomal RNA, because the abundant ribosomal RNA is usually not the research focus. 
and greatly reduces the coverage of the useful transcript. Oligo-DT based mRNA purification procedure is widely used in eukaryotes. However, some RNA transcripts that lack the polyatails are missed. Compared to the polyRNA selection, ribosomal RNA depletion approach is preferred because it enriches all non-ribosomal RNA species, including tRNA, nCRNA, non-polya mRNA, and preprocessed RNA. There are two popular ribosomal RNA depletion methods. One is the hybridization of ribosomal RNA with Biden-labeled anti-ribosomal RNA probes, followed by removal with streptivid and canted magnetic beads. The other is the selective degradation of ribosomal RNA by a 5' to 3' exonuclease, that specifically recognizes ribosomal RNA with a 5' phosphate. Fragmentation is subsequently conducted to reach the desired length for different NGS technologies. Some small RNAs, such as microRNAs, peewee interacting RNAs, and short interfering RNAs, can be directly sequenced without fragmentation. Larger RNA molecules need to be fragmented into smaller pieces, 200 to 500 nt, before deep sequencing technologies. cDNA fragmentation is usually strongly biased towards the identification of sequences from the three prime ends of transcripts, while RNA fragmentation has little bias over the transcript, but is depleted for transcript ends. Therefore, cDNA fragmentation provides valuable information about the precise identity of these ends, and RNA fragmentation provides access to precise identity of the transcript body. In the classic NGS protocols, adapters are ligated onto shared double-stranded DNA fragments. However, a major drawback of this approach is the loss of information on transcriptional direction. The pretreatment of the RNA samples with sodium bisulfate can convert the cytidine into uridine. Widespread C to T transition thereby marks the coding stand of each transcript. Some other methods that maintain strand specificity have been proposed, such as direct ligation of RNA adapters to the RNA sample before reverse transcription. The RNA-Sec is currently dominated by three different platforms, Illumina, Ion Torrent, Roche 454, and Pacific Biosciences Smart. Read lengths range from 200 to 600 BP for Illumina, 400 BP for Ion Torrent, 400 to 700 BP for 454 Pyra Sequencing System, and 15 to 20 kilobits for Pacific Biosciences Smart Platforms. Longer reads or paired and short reads can reveal connectivity between multiple exons. RNA-Sec is a powerful method to study complex transcriptomes, and reveal sequence variations in the transcribed regions. Quality assessment is the first step for the bioinformatics analysis of RNA-Sec, which ensures a coherent final result by removal of low-quality sequences, overrepresented sequences, and adapter sequences. Once all reads have been filtered and mapped or assembled, Gene expression levels can thus be inferred, leading to a genome scale transcriptome map in terms of quality and quantity. RNA-Sec also allows detecting differential expression across treatments of conditions. Normalization has to be conducted to adjust the differences between samples, such as library size and gene-specific features. Furthermore, RNA-Sec enables us to identify SNPs, fusion genes, and post-transcriptional gene regulation, such as RNA editing, degradation, and translation. In the end, if you want more information about accurate and reliable RNA sex service, please visit our website, www.cd-genomics.com. We are more than happy to be of assistance.